This anime really is getting darker. And so much better. Pokemon Ranger, I choose you! What's up everybody, it's your Pokemon Ranger Boy here, and welcome to another review of the Pokemon X, Y, and Z anime. Today we enter episode 23, Ash and Alan, Greninja vs Mega Charizard once again, and bravo. Just bravo. I applaud the writers with standing ovations because of the direction this anime is going. We already knew that the current anime is getting more and more mature but it was never as clear as in today's episode. This episode is not only the rematch between Ash and Alan, but so much more. So without any hesitation, let's get right into the review! We are getting reunited with Alan, one of the main protagonists in today's episode. Entering today's main scenery, a nearby Pokemon Center. After that, we are getting straight to the point of today's episode cause our heroes are trying to solve the mysteries behind Ash Greninja and to do so, Clement invented a mini Clambot with which he tries to analyze the past events connected with Ash and Greninja. They come to the conclusion that it has to do something with, with what Olympia told them about the future crisis of Kalos and that the bond between Ash and Greninja will play an important role in this. They also come to the conclusion that to achieve this mysterious form, both Ash and Greninja have to be in sync when it comes to their emotional status, because the bond between them was strong since Greninja first met Ash when it was a Froki. And speaking of Ash and Greninja, we are now introduced to another invention of Clement called the Battle Passer. And with this little handy device, Clement will be able to analyze whenever the two of them are in emotional sync during battle. So that's why, without any hesitation, Clement wants to try his invention by battling Ash and I have to say, damn, I missed seeing Clement battling seriously and I also missed all those moves of Luxray. Immediately after the battle has started, I had a certain chill of nostalgia which threw me back to the gym battle between Ash and Clement, which I consider as one of the best gym battles I ever have seen, visually and when it comes to the intensity. But despite Clement giving his best and also is really excited during the battle, it seems like Ash and Greninja aren't able to synchronize properly due to the fact that he is fighting a friend and there's also nothing at stake. But it seems to be like a lucky day for our heroes since Alan entered the Pokemon Center and of course if Alan is challenged to a battle he won't decline it. But before the main event of today's episode can start, to Pikachu's displease we are seeing a battle between Ash's Neuvern and Alan's new Pokemon Metan. I was really surprised how evenly matched both Neuvern and Metang were because Neuvern never battled for real after its evolution, so you can say that it was Neuvern's first official battle. Despite the type of disadvantage, Neuvern really fought well and just lost by a mere tiny bit. I'm also glad that Alan doesn't always depend on Charizard alone and that he also got a really strong Pokemon with Metang. I just wonder where he actually got it from. I guess it's like in the Ruby Sapphire games where Steven is giving a trainer a Beldum. After Greninja has recovered, we are finally witnessing that clash between Mega Evolution and Synchro Energy, or in short, Mega Charizard vs Greninja. And like in their first battle, both Pokemon are starting their battle with a sparring round in their normal forms, until Alan decides to Mega Evolve, but even after the Mega Evolution, Greninja is on par with Mega Charizard at first, until Charizard counters Greninja's attacks with a flamethrower followed by a fierce fall thunder punch. Although being down on its knees, Greninja won't give up and after that Ash screams the now infamous words, we are getting stronger and stronger. And then finally, it's Ash Greninja time. And if you think that it will end like last time, then you are totally wrong. The battle is getting more and more intense after the vet transformation and not only the battle passer on Ash's arm, but also Alan realized that and both Alan and Charizard can feel the excitement and power from Ash and Greninja. Alan has battled against so many strong opponents and even legendary Pokemon, but I never ever have seen Alan that excited. Both Pokemon are attacking, defending and dodging non-stop until Ash Greninja has found an opening and attacked Mega Charizard with a powerful Aerial Ace. So Ash has the upper hand now and both trainers are excited to clash over and over again until suddenly, out of nowhere, something seems to be wrong with the synchronization between Ash and Greninja. 
and in the end, Ash can't bear it and collapse. Of course, Ash's friend and Alan are coming to help him. And while Ash seems to have lost his consciousness, we are witnessing either a nightmare or a vision of Ash, how his Greninja is leaving him without any response. Shocked by this vision, Ash then wakes up and our friends are relieved to see that Ash is okay. But although Ash seems to be okay on the outside, the, this vision of Greninja is still bothering him and I'm sure that this won't be the last time we are seeing this upcoming crisis. Also, it's kinda confirmed that Alan isn't aiming for the Carlos League at the moment because of course his first priority is to find Kunichan so that he can save Meirin's chessman. And speaking of Meirin, after parting ways with the XY gang, we are seeing a little conversation between both Meirin and Alan and it seems like that chessman is doing better and I guess that's due to Alan's successful capture of Zyga. But he knows that this won't be enough and just like Ash, he and Charizard want to become stronger and stronger and while thinking about the excitement of today's battle, Alan is looking up to the night sky. Despite all the events Ash has experienced today, he won't give up on himself and his Pokemon and now he decides to work hard to become Greninja and to master the Synchro Evolution. And with that, the episode ends. Wow! So much content packed in one single episode. So before I get exhausted from everything the writers have showed us, let's go straight into the rating. What can I say about the story? The, the story, I just loved everything about the story guys. The battle was intense, not only the, the second one, but also the first one between Neuvon and Metang. And we could also see the potential of Ash Greninja, which is sky high. This is also the episode which introduces the upcoming crisis between Ash and Greninja, which I was looking forward since we have seen the opening of X, Y and Z. Also we are getting a, a more deeper insight when it comes to Synchro Evolution and I am really looking forward of how Ash will actually solve this problem. And one of the best thing of today's episode, there was no Team Rocket. And instead of that, Clement played a huge role in today's episode and I just was so glad that Clement was this useful today. I just loved it and I hope that Clement will have Ash to solve this mystery. And of course, like always, I, lo I just love Ash's attitude despite all the crisis and despite all the problems, he won't give up and he will get stronger and stronger. And because of it, I have to give this episode a 10 out of 10 when it comes to the story. What can I say about the focus? Well, I don't have to mention a lot more when it comes to Ash's focus, so let's focus a little bit more on Alan. I just love that we could see more from Alan, not only when it comes to screen time in general, but also when it comes to his character. I just love how even he, as this cool and badass guy, also can get really excited when it comes to a strong opponent. And I just also love how even Alan has realized how strong Ash and Greninja have become and because of that he will not only look forward to the next battle between him and Ash but also because of that he wants to get even stronger. I just love how both of them are motivating each other to get stronger and stronger. Just awesome. And of course despite all this excitement he never forgets his main goal and that is of course to save Chespin and Meirin. The second part of today's episode of course was focusing on the battle between Greninja and Charizard. And I just loved how, how not like in the first battle that Charizard was dominating Greninja but that this time they were both on equal terms that both from the start were just equal when it comes to the power, when it comes to speed, when it comes to everything and even after Mega Evolution and Synchro Evolution they were both equal and I could never tell which of them would actually win this battle. I just loved it and I will look forward to more Greninja and Mega Charizard action. I want to see more because of that 10 out of 10. Last not but least, let's talk about, of course, the animation. And I don't know how often I have to mention it, but when it comes to Mega Evolution, Synchro Evolution, it's just absolutely stunning. The animation is absolutely stunning. I just loved it. Not only when it comes to the battle, but also, of course, the critical moment when Ash collapsed and how they animated this moment when Ash collapsed. Every time I see this kind of animation, I really ask myself, is this anime really Pokemon? Because the animation is just so incredibly stunning. This is next level animation shit. You will never ever see the animation of the past again with those crappy backgrounds, but the XY and XY and Z anime has paved the future and I hope that this animation will still continue on in the future because it's just so absolutely magnificent. And I'm not only thankful for the XY and Z writers for this awesome story, but also I'm thankful for the XY and Z animators for this 
stunningly beautiful animation which right now at the moment even causes tears in my eyes because it's just so beautiful because of that 10 out of 10. So I don't have to mention more, this today's episode was a 10 out of 10, it deserves every single point I gave it, it was just awesome and please guys, please, I beg you guys, please don't miss this episode, it was just so good. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed my review as always and also as always, see you guys in my next video, bye!